Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Is this pistol still relevant? That's the question with this ongoing series. And I've certainly enjoyed it. It seems that other people are enjoying it, so we're going to keep it going. What did I feature last week? Well, here it is. The North American Arms Pug. Small little mini revolver chambered in 22 Magnum. It has a tritium front dot, a bar in the rear sight. It's a single action 22 Magnum revolver. It's a five shot with a rubber grip there. Very small, deep concealed. A lot of people said it's a novelty gun. And then other people said they actually carry this as their primary carry, either the Pug or one of its variants, which are mini revolvers from North American Arms. It's okay. I wouldn't advise using this as your primary carry. One of the comments that I get so often, they say, if it shoots, if it goes bang, it is relevant. So all I have featured so far, they go bang. But is it relevant in today's world? And most people said it's a novelty gun, not to be carried as a primary, but for deep concealment, it will certainly get somebody out of a jam as a secondary or even a, a third handgun. And you put it in a little pocket pistol or a little pocket holster like this, and it is extremely light. So that was the feedback I got last week. Well, what about this week? Here is the handgun being featured. When this was initially introduced, it was hated. And I think a lot of that came from the internet. People had issues with it. I had an issue with it. I had to send it back. And once it was fixed, and it always fired. That was not the issue. I had trouble taking it apart. But it's a Remington. It's the RP9. It's a full-size handgun. Stick with me on this now because I want to talk about it for a little bit before you make your decision because I have to believe most people are saying, nope, it's not relevant in today's world, but this was budget priced. It was 418 MSRP. I picked it up for 250 with a $50 rebate eight years ago, if you can believe it. It has 18 round magazines, a 4.5 inch barrel, and a five and a half pound trigger pull with a trigger tab in there with the reset right there. Not audible at all. But for a full-size handgun, this is a very nice shooter with 18 round mags and 9mm. And if we look at it, we will see that the frame rails are really wide. Check that out. Very wide frame rails. They eventually came out with this in 45 ACP. And those who own it, the feedback I've gotten, they, they actually really enjoy it. For a budget price, it's a, it's a pretty decent handgun. Now, I have to believe that if this was produced today, they would probably come out with 20, 21 round mags. That's the ongoing thing with full-size handguns now. Maybe slide cuts, optic ready. And it's got the pick rail there. At the time, they said Remington had the slimmest grip of any handguns in its class. It has additional back straps, nice overall feel, and a fine shooting handgun. When I've taken this to the range, I really enjoyed it. It shot great. And even when I had the issue, it shot great. My issue was it wouldn't come apart. And so they, they fixed it and got it back with me rather quickly. It has forward serrations, nice overall feel. Why was it hated? Well, from its initial launch, the internet kind of blew up. They said, that gun's a piece of crap. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take my chances. I'm going to pick it up. See, it has some shine there on the slide. I'm going to pick it up and, and see what happens. And I was very much impressed with the way it shot. Then when they came out with the 45 ACP, a lot of people liked it. They said, you know, for that price, you can't get one for 250 3 3 and a quarter. You can't get a 45 ACP that's full size for that price and at that time especially and it turned out that a lot of people enjoyed it but the reputation that it had from the internet hate sort of preceded itself and eventually you know what happened to Remington they they just pretty well disappeared especially on the handgun line but this is it the Remington 
RP9, is it still relevant today? Do you own this? Do you do you love it? Do you hate it? Have you ever even tried it? Have you put it in your hand and felt it? Have you shot your buddies? What's the deal with the RP9? Is it still a handgun? I know it goes bang. People say if it goes bang, then it's relevant. Well, I understand that. But if this was still around, would you purchase it today? That's the question. The Remington RP9. What do you think? I actually like it. I think it's a pretty cool handgun. A little bit dated, but it does go bang. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.